Assalamu alaikum. In this video, I'm going to share with you the top 10 IELTS Telegram channels that I believe every IELTS prep student should follow. Now, keep in mind that there are a lot of great channels that I wanted to put on the list, but there's only 10 of them that made it. I also want to share a bonus channel which is not on the list but it will definitely take you by surprise and you will see why. I made the list based on the number of subscribers that the channels have but believe me they're almost equally great. So the number 10 channel that I believe every student should follow is The Intellectuals of Stanislav Boyko. The reason is he, just like most channel admins in this video, has been battle tested meaning that he was able to achieve an overall band score of 8.5 like this. Cool, huh? But if you find this kinda hard to believe, you might want to check this out. Look at the numbers. I mean, look at these beautiful numbers. These numbers talk, don't they? And this as well. To my mind, online shopping is very convenient, since people can order goods directly from their houses or offices, plus lots of business people who sell online offer free delivery today. However, there are several drawbacks related to online shopping and one of them is that criminals can use this opportunity, take money from their customers and disappear afterwards. And the other one is that not all of these salesmen pay the income tax. This can seriously affect the state budget. Awesome, isn't it? He also makes great videos about his personal tips and strategies on acing the test and sometimes interviews the students who were able to get a 7 or above and shares their tactics. In short, his channel is worth following. The number 9 channel is my channel, e Muallim. Unlike most channels on the list, mine is not focused mainly on the IELTS. Every time I find something useful for English learners, whether it's a book, an app, a video, an article or a podcast, I post it on the channel. I also write about my projects, be it my new videos for YouTube or some other interesting things going on in my life that you might find helpful. So if you like me as a person and my videos, you'll probably like my Telegram channel as well. The channel number 8 is Diorbex IELTS. Despite being much younger than most admins here, his results are incredible. As you can see, he's worth listening to. You know what? Let's just listen to him. Good part of the day, dear channel subscribers. Uh, I am Dirbeck, and I'm here to make a quick announcement. Yesterday, I created a group that's linked to this channel. Now, every post I make in the channel will be automatically posted there as well. You can go there to join and discuss the posts, ask questions, and exchange ideas with other group members. Um, so as of now, there are 10 members there. So, I will also be a part of it, and I'm really happy to jump in whenever necessary. So, I'm now posting a series of uh, stack at band 6 writing posts, so you can ask your questions about them. Just go in there and, and, and be a part of it. See, he's not about lip service. The guy has a real purpose, which is to help people get their desired score. He does that by being very active on Telegram and posting some cool things such as examiner's comments on candidates speaking and writing performance like this. If your goal is to get a high score in speaking, listen to the candidate's recordings and read the examiner's comments carefully. Go subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. The next channel I want to tell you about is Thompson Materials. If you are looking for self-study resources, you don't need to look any further because Thompson Materials is ready to help. What I like most about this channel is that they have taken popular Cambridge IELTS listening tests 4 to 13, sorted the books by sections and put all 40 sections 1 to 4 in one book. So you can work through 40 section 1 tests and then move on to 40 section 2s, 3s and so on. There is a good old saying in English which goes, repetition is the mother of skill. 
And this book can give you a ton of repetition of one section until you feel ready to move on to the next. What an awesome way to improve your listening skills. I highly recommend that you master one section at a time if you are serious about getting a high score in listening. Now, if language tests were boxing, Bigzot Mirahmedov, the founder of the IELTS Zone Prep School, could very well be the Muhammad Ali of any English test. And I ain't afraid to be what I want to be. The champ is here! The champ is here! The champ is here! Run up like a butterfly, sing like a bee. Rumble, young man, rumble. Ah! Now listen, I'm gonna hit your hands six times before you get the three. You ready? Go. One, two, three. Did I hurt you? <laughs> He's become one of the few who walk the talk, which makes him a great source of inspiration for many people, including me. Wanna know how? He's done the IELTS 14 times, if not 15. Instead of blabbering on about his results, let me just let the numbers do the talk. As you can see, he's got 8 nines in listening, 6 in reading, and 7 8.5s in speaking, and 2 8s in writing. It took him about 13 years to double his score in each section of the test. Personally, I have never seen any YouTuber who's done anything like this before. And here are some of his certificates. If that's not enough, you can listen to one of his voice messages on his channel. First question, have you ever seen wild animals? Well, sure, yeah, I've seen them in the zoo, uh, which is sadly pretty much the only place nowadays that you get to see these amazing creatures. Unless, of course, you live near the jungle or something. And there is this nature reserve, uh, but I've never been to one. Okay. What's your favorite animal? Well, it's hard to say, you know. Uh, I cannot really single out a particular wild animal. But uh, I think if I had to pick a probably go for a lion and it's because uh, I grew up watching the Lion King you know this Academy Award winning cartoon from the 1990s so it's kind of you know f for me it's it spoke to me and uh, I grew to like lions you know, watching this cartoon that's what I call the native level by the way I was able to get a perfect nine in speaking thanks to Big Zot's advice Exact. If you're watching this video, I just want to thank you, buddy. You absolutely rock. Number five is IELTS Soldiers, the channel of Barno Mukimova, who made the impossible possible for me by getting a perfect nine in speaking. You probably want to listen to her voice message as much as I did after seeing her result. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing fine and spending your quarantine time productively and wisely. Most of you have asked me a question about how you would learn the words in a way that you would not forget them in a couple of days. Believe it or not, that was a question that had been haunting me back when I was uh, studying at my bachelor's degree, so I decided to write my research paper on the question how we could optimize a foreign lexicology acquisition. I've done a lot of work and I'm still doing it. And then back those times when I had talked to uh, teachers and the linguists who had more than 10 years of experience in their spheres, uh, also there was a lot of work done in the lit literature review part that gave me an answer, the single answer for your question on how you would learn the words more effectively so that it will stick in your memory so that you will be able to use it. In other words, it is active vocabulary, not the word that you know, the translation for, but you can use in your essays, you can use in your speaking. Can't nobody mess with a person who can speak like that, can they? That's why she was the reason why I decided to go all in and work hard, real hard to get the same result. I used to believe that it was impossible to get that perfect score in speaking, but after she made it, I locked in on the goal and did it too. Apart from her personal tips and strategies to improve all four skills, she shares great personal development books like this. Reading books like this is how I was able to take my English to the next level. And so will you, if you follow this channel. Next one is Recent IELTS, the channel I used to do research on the speaking test to find out if the questions on the IELTS Assistant app were the actual questions used by examiners and 
found that they really were. The students who have recently done their speaking test go to this channel and share the questions they were asked and the channel owner posts them on the channel so that everyone can learn from their experience. It's a pretty active channel that posts recent IELTS speaking questions on a regular basis. I recommend that you follow it too. Alright, we are going to number 3 now. This is another channel that I follow because the person who runs the channel has been battle tested. Did you see the numbers? It was 8.5. So we better listen when she talks. Well, if I describe a person who speaks a foreign language fluently, probably I will choose Babur Kamilov. Babur Kamilov was a prominent and well-known speaker. Well, journalist in our country. I, I have to say was because he passed away a few years ago. It was a great loss uh, in our country and many people deplored over his death. Um, Babur Kamilov led a TV program which was called Journal or Journalist. I don't distinctly remember. Actually, I vaguely remember, very vaguely remember his TV programs because I was very, very young at that time. It was about 15 years ago and he uh, led a TV program in the English language. At that time, very few people spoke uh, new English and learning and teaching English wasn't so popular as it is today in our country. And speaking in English was a uh, kind of prestige at that time. As you can see, she's absolutely fluent and does talk about really interesting things like this. And fun things like this. And some tips like this. Just like the channel owners on the list, she always tells the truth. Look at this. She says, to crack 9 in listening and reading, you need to improve your general English. This is so true. Many people ask me, sir, how can I get a band 9 in speaking? And when I tell them, listen to audiobooks or podcasts that are interesting to you, they too give me that I already know that kind of look. Most students find it really hard to accept the fact that getting a high IELTS score depends heavily on your general English. Of course, there are some students who get lucky and end up with a high score in either listening or reading, but it's rare, very rare. So, to learn what it really takes to get a high IELTS score, follow English platform. Alright, next one here. Fun English with Mr. Aslanov is one of my favorite channels because not only does my brother Donyar teach the best strategies and techniques on acing the IELTS test, but he also shares fun things which can improve your English and put a smile on your face at the same time like this. And this. And this. He's just a great human being who's always ready to offer a helping hand to those in need. On top of that, his channel is one of the most active channels that I know of because he posts on a regular basis and he posts lots of useful things. Check this out. 2000 photos and videos, 900 files, 300 audio files. The guy has even compiled a book full of question type based reading practice tests to help you improve your skills one at a time. So you can start with the easiest reading question type such as uh, gap fill and do as many tests as you can until you feel comfortable with it. Then you can try more challenging question types such as matching headings or multiple choice questions and do tons of reading tests until you get the hang of it as well. So I highly recommend this book if you want to crack band 8 or 9 in reading. Now there are a lot of good channels but this one is at the top of my list. This channel alone is enough for you to go from zero to hero in English. Because it has everything you need ranging from English movies, podcasts, comedy shows, books, apps, links, articles, tips, strategies, personal advice to tons and tons of IELTS resources. It's almost like an online IELTS university. Look at this. 1400 photos and videos. 1400 photos and videos. 2400 files and 600 audio files. Looking for a specific book for speaking? Go search the channel and you'll definitely find it. Looking for videos to improve your writing? You can find them here as well. Whatever you are looking for can be found in this channel. On top of that, my brother Sam, the creator of this channel, is really good at speaking. Check this out. 
together again is Eugene and Sam. So we're going to talk about something else. So Eugene's going to throw lots of questions at me, and I'll try to answer them all. Right. Hello. So please uh, pay attention to how we answer the questions. We will be trying to use lots of key phrases to help along to answer the, the questions as uh, efficiently as possible. So we're beginning with part one. All right. Here we go. So, uh, first question goes like that. How popular are bicycles in your hometown? Uh, the bicycles are quite popular, I'd say. Everyone is renting them everywhere. You can rent whatever you like. But people are buying them. And I hope they're doing it because they care about the nature. You know, they're trying to be green, not to pollute around the area with the cars. So, I think bicycles will become more and more popular. Well, speaking of learning how to ride a bicycle, when, do you remember how, how old were you when you when you first time rode a bike? You learned how to ride a bicycle. Yeah, I remember. It was painful because <laughs> I, you know, I fell off many times. Uh, but it was scary because uh, I think my brother was just like pushing from the back and saying, "Come on, do it, ride it, don't be a loser." So I had to learn it somehow, but I fell a couple of times and I had some, had some How old were you at that time? If you want to get a lot of cool materials and speak like my brother Sam, then you should definitely subscribe to Sam IELTS. Alright, remember what I said at the beginning of the video? Let me show you the bonus channel that I'd like to call the secret pearl hidden at the bottom of the ocean called Telegram. I mean, you have to dig deep to find it, but when you do, you'll be as happy and excited as you would if you found a real pearl. At first glance, the channel looks okay, because it has around 500 subscribers, but in my opinion, it deserves 500,000 subscribers. And here's why. Well, um, on this uh, idea of brainstorming and uh, planning before writing, so I would like to say that I found, found this podcast quite kind of an absurd, really, for lots of reasons. And the reason I shared the, the podcast itself was that I just wanted other people to know that um, that's what other people think or some people think that you should never uh, extend or some people have this limited way of thinking about this brainstorming and that there's a certain limit that you should not exceed while you're thinking and developing your arguments and how erroneous uh, the idea itself is, but um, it could be applied and, you know, in certain uh, ways, for example, first of all, brainstorming or planning or thinking, you know, coming up with your arguments, um, all of that before the writing stage, right, is absolutely crucial, first of all, and you should spend as much time as it takes. Having said that, I'm not encouraging you to spend like 30 minutes uh, sitting there um, in the exam room and thinking and then overthinking how to develop uh, the idea or the topic, but it sometimes, it could even take, say, 10 minutes or even 15. Doesn't the way she speaks English sound like music to your ears? It does to mine. If she had a conversation with an American, you would have a really hard time trying to tell who's the real native speaker because Isle Sandra is the real deal. To me, her English is not band 8, not even 9, it's band 10. That's why I love this channel and listen to almost all of Sandra's voice messages and I think you should too. So, check out these channels. You can find the links in the comments section below and comment on the bottom of what you got from these guys. But I can tell you for a guy that dropped out of college, for a guy that doesn't have a bachelor's or an MBA or an associate or any of those, I became who I am today because I became the self-educated student, thanks to God. I didn't rely on traditional education to have somebody tell me how to learn English who can't even speak properly but they read a textbook. I didn't see value in paying hundreds of thousands of sums for that. I wanted to learn from people who actually got there where I wanted to be and these guys have experience that taught me how to do what I've done with my English. So I highly recommend that you go check out these channels if you haven't already and if there are any other channels you would add to the list, comment on the bottom. 
If you got any questions or comments and thoughts about the channels I recommended as well, comment on the bottom. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. And if you are a loyal fan of getting great content on a regular basis, if you love the channel, help us get to 50,000 subscribers. Get your friends and peers to also subscribe. With that being said, see that big round button in the center? Click on it. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.